Hey, this is Pastor Rick. You know, we've been talking all, all a little while now about one verse, Philippians 4 and 8. And the reason I like the verse is because it, it's, it's, it's the whatever verse. It really is cool. It says, whatever you do, you need to do this. And it gives you this cool list. Let me read it to you, Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is right, whatever is true, rather, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Now, the three things on the list today that we're going to look at is the fact that he says whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, and what is admirable. Now, when you look at this, because I, I really believe the key theme, term in here is lovely. You know, when you use that word, it's, it's, it's really one of those kind of like old words, you know. That's lovely. It's just absolutely lovely. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you go around saying stuff like that. I normally don't. But, you know, it, it, it does paint a picture. It, it paints this picture of pure, admirable, great stuff, right? And he says... That's what you need to be thinking about. So when you look at the list of things you think about, is it stuff that's clean, pure, helpful, beneficial? Is it something that's admirable? If other people knew you were thinking about it, what would they say? Are your thoughts admirable thoughts, positive thoughts? I work on that. Because I'm telling you, when you by yourself, you'll say all kinds of stuff. You'll be cussing in your mind. You won't cuss out loud. You'll be going... That's a big, big, uh, you double hit, that's a big cuss word. You know, <laughs> if people could hear you in their head, they, they would, oh boy, they wouldn't even, they'd be running from you. But there's something about coming to a place where you harness your thoughts and you create this environment around your mind where you're thinking lovely stuff. Because I really believe this. What you think is what you really express to people. Out of the abundance of the heart, the Bible says the mouth speaks. And sometimes it's really important that you realize what's brewing in your heart. It's not that pure. It's one of the reasons I don't like pornography. It's not pure. Definitely it's not admirable. And it's far from lovely. And somebody said, but it's fun now. There's some fun in that now, Pastor Rick. And if you're honest now, you know, <laughs> I sound like you've seen it a time or two. I wasn't always a believer, and I and I, I live in I live in the world. I see stuff. I've seen stuff, and I've I've learned. I've studied about it. I've I've read about it, and and in 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 my experience, I I come away with the feeling that's not good. That's not good. It's not lovely. That's that's not pure. Because it's lying to me, and it gets in my mind, and it, it distorts things and creates thoughts and attitudes that are not admirable at all. And some of us, the real problem we have is we've never policed ourselves and never said, you know what, I'm not going to think that anymore. You know, I'm not going to say that anymore. You know, that's not lovely. That's not admirable. That's, that's not pure. Now I'm going to take that and say, no, I'm getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of that. I'm not going to allow myself. You know, I do this all the time. You know, I get up in the morning. No, nope, you're not watching the news first. You read the news. You're not going to stop. Ah, no hour TV in the morning. No, stop. No, sir. Stop thinking that. Stop, Temple. Grab a hold. I have to deal with my mind and decide that I want whatever is pure, lovely, and what is admirable. I wanted to be pleasing to God. You need this in your life today. Because for some of you, man, your mind's everywhere. You're thinking about everything all day and, and, and you need to read a book or something. Your mind's too filled with the wrong things. You, you even mean to yourself. What you think about yourself is not lovely. What you think about yourself is not admirable. And it surely isn't pure. It's not even fair. It's not even fair for you to be that mean to yourself. It's not fair for you to allow yourself to live in that place. I try to be nice to Ricky. He's a nice guy, and he doesn't like to be talked about. <laughs> Let me pray for you. Father, help us today. Be fair to ourselves. Help us to be clear, pure, and live lives, Lord God, that bring glory to you. And we thank you for this opportunity to gather today. In Jesus' name. I got to go. My time's up. I hope you got something out of it. 
listen, whatsoever is pure, lovely, admirable. Think about that today. You'll have a better day. See you next time. Bye-bye.